So this weekend, Tom King has officially mirrored his soy wimp testosterone-less version of Batman. Um, for those of you who don't know, Batman now under Tom, Tom King's now running Batman. He's now writing it. And he has uh, pretty much just made the character an absolute wimp. The, the books are not worth buying. Don't waste your money on them. Unless you're doing a video roasting them, because then they might be worth the clicks. But uh, we have Tom King here, for whatever reason, decided he was going to go after Jai Lee, a uh, veteran of the comics industry, a, a an artist, I might say. I was going to say writer, but that's I, I was thinking of Tom King when I said it. Whatever he, uh, as, I mean, and when I say writer with Tom King, I'm using that term very loosely. His books are... <laughs> <laughs> he can't he can't really get his books to sell very well and that's because the writing is shit. But you got Jai Lee here who is a Korean American. I believe an immigrant, I'm not sure. I'd have to do more information on that. So don't, don't quote me on that. But this is Tom King at the beginning of the weekend. Today, DC put out an alternate cover to Raw Shat by Jai Lee, who has also done covers for Comics Gate, a hate group. One, no, Comics Gate, Comics Gate's not a hate group. This is, I can't compete against my competition, therefore I will slander my competition. And I will call them Hitler. I will call them Nazis. I will call them the KKK and literal white supremacists in order to win the day. Instead of getting out there, doing the job and putting the work in and getting something done, Tom King decides he's going to go after... Comicsgate, which Comicsgate right now is starting to become the competition of the mainstream media. Don't let anyone tell you differently. They are putting out books. They are making big bank. And they are making bank in a way that they that is sustainable. The current comics industry is not sustainable at all with the prices and everything that they're making money at. Uh, and Comicsgate books are becoming more and more popular. For those of you who don't believe me, start looking at the books that, are, that were started out, how much they made before, and then look at how much these creators are making now. They are making more money. Significantly more money. But continuing on. DC does not consult creators. On alternate covers, I reached out to them and expressed my deep disappointment. Far as I'm concerned, this is the cover of To Raw Shat number one. And so you see, you got Tom King coming out here and pretty much slandering Jai Lee. Note he doesn't say a white supremacist group because that's usually what that's usually what gets thrown at Comicsgate is they're a white supremacy group. Uh, he can't say that right now because Jai Lee is <laughs> he's not white. Okay, we'll put it like that. But to be part of a white supremacist group or to be a hate group, you have to hate a certain group of people. And Comicsgate doesn't hate people. There's there's two types of people in Comicsgate. There are people who want to pay for comics, and there are people who want to sell comics. There's nothing in between that. Now, to the mainstream, there's all these rules and convolution and hoops and crap you got to jump through in order to, to get your comic book and sell it to the right people. And there's wrong people, there's good and bad money, there's good and bad people, there's good and bad women, there's good and bad you. Everything is sexist, everything's homophobic, everything is uh, racist, and you have to point it all out in every book that you make. They have all these rules and hoops you got to jump through before you even get to the point. It's sort of like the reason the, the American wine industry is starting to beat out the French wine industry. There's so many regulations in the French wine industry that they can't compete with the American wine industry, which has almost zero regulations. These are self-imposed regulations that the, comic, the mainstream comic books are putting upon themselves, which is hurting their bottom line in the long run. They can't make good stories because, it, you know, Comicsgate can go out there and they can make a story about a gay man and it actually sell and be interesting because they can make the gay man suffer. They can put him through the same stuff that every other straight white character that these people claim to hate has gone through and it still sound good. So as we're going on here, trying to get through here. So Tom Kim comes back again. I spoke with Jai. He's not on Twitter. Didn't know comics get existed and doesn't support hate of any kind. We're all good. Best possible outcome. 
not not exactly here because this is Tom King trying to get ahead of it, and he's hoping that if you're on Twitter, you won't find it. Well, someone on Twitter did find it, so let's just you know go over here and read up on this real quick if I can get to it. My phone just does not want to operate today, and here we go. Okay, and then this this is I'm gonna warn you. This is kind of sad. Charlie R. Two weeks ago, June and I took Loki Sandy to San Diego to see a specialist. He didn't survive due to complications from the surgery. This past Friday was supposed to be a day of mourning, so we were back in San Diego to pick up his ashes. We were going to take him to the beach to comfort, or and comfort each other by sharing our favorite stories about our little boy. Instead, a part of the internet, I avoid like the plague, came barging in, probably meaning Tom King. I had companies I'm working for calling me, friends reaching out to me. I'm seeing hate pouring out of strangers' mouths, accusing me of things I have no knowledge of. I'm seeing firsthand how fast lies are spreading. Let me be clear, I am not part of any group. Which doesn't have to be. Uh, No one in Comics demands that he be part of a group. We just, if he he gets paid for art, he should have to get his art. Okay, all all we ask is if he accepts a job, to do it. That's it. No, No one really cares. We never made it to the beach. We spent the entire six-hour drive back home on an emotional roller coaster. I am writing this because I am angry. These irresponsible tweets are not harmless. They do not just go away. They have real-world consequences. They can take away your job, your life, your memories. June and I were robbed of a special day, so no, we're not all good. Probably referring to Tom King again. This isn't the start of a conversation. This is the end. So please, don't drag me into a world I never wanted to be part of, nor will I ever want to be part of. I want to honor Loki by by going back and producing art made with love, for people who enjoy it, for what it is. Something that hopefully brings joy to their lives. Mommy and Daddy miss you so very much, Loki, our love. Now his part about talking about love and about talking about the art, that is, and I'm not going to say that he's part of Comicsgate. I want to make this abundantly clear. If Jaya Lee does not want to be part of Comicsgate, he doesn't have to be. Okay? But the idea that art should be art and it should bring joy and it should bring entertainment, that is the big part of Comicsgate. No one wants it to be political. No one wants it to be pushing some sort of weird narrative. They just want something that's entertainment and brings joy to their life. The bang for the buck, basically. And uh, that is is pretty much where Jai Lee, in what he wants to do with art, that's where the customer base and a lot of Comicsgate creators are at. Now, as I said before, he's not Comicsgate. And he doesn't have to be. But I am going to say his reasoning right here for wanting to make art and make it make it bring joy and make it be something for everyone, that is a fundamental part of Comicsgate. The only thing we want is we want something for what we pay for. We want a good we want a good product when we ask for it. Tom King, however, pretty much um he's not one of those people. He can't and I've said this before, they don't compete, they destroy. If they have an enemy they try to destroy them as as quickly as they can. The thing about, and you also got to remember, this is Tom King, a a white guy, who is going out there attacking an Asian creator, which in the United States, Asians are a micro minority. Okay, none none of this is good. And you have Tom King back over here. Like I said, he's going. I spoke with Jai. He's not on Twitter. He, he no. What he wants you to think is he's not on Twitter. So there's no way you're going to find out whether he's he's happy with me or not. Oh, he didn't know comics get existed. Bullshit. <laughs> I promise you. And doesn't support hate of any kind. Trying to cover your ass. We're all good. Hope they're good. Not really good. Best possible outcome. No, it's not. The best possible outcome was for you to not go out there and start shit in the first place. But as I said, this is the. Mainstream comics. This is why mainstream comics is eventually going to lose. This is why they're going to eventually go the way of the dinosaur. They're going to probably hold on to whatever properties they've got. I mean, you got DC has been recently talking about getting rid of their own books and just reprinting stuff from the 80s. They got like 80 years worth of comics. They're talking about just reprinting it for the next generation because 
they have the properties to do that. Um, Marvel is hoping that the cinematic universe can probably make all of its money. Uh, Comicsgate is where the new books are at. Comicsgate, as I said, we don't care who you are. There are gays in Comicsgate. There are Hispanics in Comicsgate. There are blacks in Comicsgate. There are whites in Comicsgate. There are bi transsexual women in Comicsgate. Nobody cares. Okay? The Comicsgate, let me, let me explain how Comicsgate works to everyone. All right, and this is, this is what SJWs cannot get around their head. SJWs look at someone, and they are judging you. They're the real hate group in this. Any comic pro who comes out there and acts like an SJW, whether they be anti-Comicsgate or just straight-up SJW comic book pros, they judge you as a person. Your value is based on your skin color. They want to know who you fuck. They want to know what you like, who you voted for, what kind of car you drive, what kind of flag you like, whether you're putting your hand over your heart in front of the American flag or kneeling down like a slave in front of whatever totalitarian bullshit that they've thrown out this week. Comicsgate cares about one thing. If you are a customer, if, 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 you're, if you find yourself on the side of the customers, you will find one thing with Comicsgate. They don't care about politics. They don't care who writes the books. If they like it, they'll buy it. If they don't like it, they won't buy it. It's a majority rule that's run by the customer, and the customer desi- decides what is good and what is bad. And they will support it if they like the book. Now, mind you, there are some creators that I have looked over. I have two copies of Jawbreaker's Lost Souls. I have Jawbreaker's Lost Souls and Jawbreaker's God King. I'm fixing to buy Jawbreaker's Grand Bazaar. And the thing I will tell people right now is I bought those books because I like the concept of them. I bought Cyberfrog because I like the concept of it. I still got to get Wrecked Planet. I've bought Littlest Umbrella. I've got both one and two coming in. Blade Devil because I liked the art in Blade Devil because it reminded me of the Dragon Quest, the old school like Dragon Ball Z or, or uh, Dragon Quest kind of vibes to the uh, almost Akira Toy. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping I get this get this name right. Akira, Akira Toriyama art style in a in what would be a colorized book, and I loved it. I love the concept of it. There have been there are books that I have supported because I like the way they look. I don't buy things because I don't like them. Okay, I'm not some crack addict. If you're a customer, the only thing you want is something you like. And as I've stated this before, comic books hit so many genres. The comic industry should be a buffet. It should not be this exclusive club that you go into and you're only allowed to have one type of drink and one type of food and you're only listening to one type of song. Comic books are the Ponderosa. If you ever remember the old Ponderosa restaurants... You go inside the Ponderosa, and they have everything. Or Golden Corral, actually, would be much better. Golden Corral has everything. They got food from every single nation. Oh, we got, you want Asia? We got Asia. You want Mexican? We got Mexican. You want Italian? We got Italian. You want American? We got American. In fact, we do have American. You want barbecue? We got barbecue. If you want grilled, we got grilled. You want baked? We got baked. You want desserts? We got desserts. You want this? You, you, whatever you want, Golden Corral has it. There's something for everyone. The purpose is not to bring the purpose is not to bring a certain type of people. They're trying to hit everybody. That's what comic books should be. You should walk in, find what you want, buy what you want, and then sit down and enjoy it and not be judged for it. All right? If you are the creator in comics game, there should be there's only one the only two types of people you should you even care about. One is paying customers. Two is non-paying or people who are not your customers. 
People who are paying you money for your books, you try to satisfy. People who are not buying your books, you hope that they buy your books eventually. Because you have because you're not going to be able to get them to come in. I may be messing that up actually a little bit, but <laughs> you get the gist of it. There's only a few there's there's the rules are simple in Comics Gate. And it's that simplicity that alludes to the inclusivity of what the movement is about. There's no leader, there's no head. Comics Gate is a hydra. And I know some people can't seem to understand are probably wondering about that, but it's not it's not meant as a bad thing. It's meant as if you attack someone. And this is the weird thing about Comics Gate as a hydra. Comics Gate as a hydra is not one that you cut off its head, two more grow back up. Comics Gate is a hydra in that you even nick it, ten heads grow out of that nick. It is you cannot destroy it. The more these SJWs attack Comics Gate, the only thing they do is they broadcast to the world who these people are. And every person that they attack, that they throw a spear at, that they lob an arrow, or they hit it with a sword, every time they hurt that person, more new customers start growing out of that guy's business. More new customers become come out. Jai Lee is going to have more fans that will now be galvanized this SJW bullshit. And I think he will be better for it. Will it hurt his, will it hurt his reputation? With some soft-headed morons, it will. The vast majority of people, and I think he's going to find, this is the thing that Comicsgate does differently, because it, it, Comicsgate runs a hearts and minds campaign when it comes to new customers, or people outside the movement. That we are only hostile to people who are hostile to us. The rest of the movement, anyone else outside of the movement, if you haven't been hostile to Comicsgate, you are either a potential new creator that we want to support, or you are a potential customer we want to entertain. That is the entire that that is the universal rule with Comicsgate. Th- those are the types of people. That's how we view people. We don't care what you look like. We don't care who you fuck. Whoever you're fucking is your private life. It, we're don't, we don't care about it. We're not there to prov- we're not there to judge you based on who you're having sex with. We're not there to judge you on what kind of car you drive or what kind of games you play or what you buy. We are simply sitting there going, sir or ma'am, or whatever you may you may identify as, do you want a comic book? Do you like this comic book? See, I made this comic book because I wanted to entertain people. Uh, I do ask for some money for this comic book, but if you think you would like it, you don't, oh, that's okay. I'm, I'm going to produce other comics. Uh, just remember, this book will be here for for a limited amount of time in some instances. It'll be here for a limited amount of time, and uh, if you change your mind, Come back and buy it. It's it's one of the rules that my dad always told me. He said, you can tell when a car is a good deal when the dealer says, well, if you change your mind, come back. If the dealer is sitting there trying to tell you, you you got to come by, you got to buy, you got to buy this now or it's going to be gone. It's not a good deal and you're going to get screwed. That's sort of the universal misnomer about, you know, doing, you know, buying and trading cars. It works with the comic industry as well because... On one hand, you've got Comicsgate saying, this is going to be a limited time offer. If you want it, go ahead and get your copy. Whereas with the SJWs over there, they're going, uh, buy this book if you're not a racist. If you're not part of the white supremacist anti-gay Gestapo, buy this book or you're a fucking Nazi. And as I said, Comicsgate's over there like, I have a book to sell. If y'all would like to buy it, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I put my heart and soul into this, and and I think it would be entertaining. Sir, you're going to buy it? Thank you so much. Oh, my book's not for you? Well, uh, there's a limited amount of time, but if you come back before then, I will definitely sell to you. I don't care if you think it's a bad book. Thank you, sir, for your time. That is Comics Game. Anyway, folks, like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit the bell for notification. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.